Hey guys, my name is Richard and I'm a second year student at the University of Toronto. I took a little break last week because it was my birthday last week. So I'm very sorry that I couldn't upload last week, but I was able to spend some time with my family and some time for myself. Some of you guys even wished me a happy birthday. So thank you so much for all the birthday wishes. But even though it was my birthday, I still posted something on my community tab. As many of you guys voted, I posted a poll asking what videos you guys want to see in the future. And majority of you guys wanted me to tell you my truthful experience at the dormitory. So today I'll be telling you guys all the truth about the dorms at the University of Toronto. And those of you guys who voted for the study tips video, don't worry because I'm going to make that video right after this video. So stay tuned for that video as well. Now without further ado, this is my truthful experience at the University of Toronto dorm. I'll be breaking this video down into three categories. First, I'm gonna talk about washrooms. Second, I'm gonna talk about noise problems. And third, I'm gonna talk about the general atmosphere at the dorm. As some of you guys know, I'm part of New College and I was able to stay at 45 Wilcox dorm in my first year. And when I was staying at the dorm, I made a video called Everything You Need to Know About University of Toronto Dorms. So if you wanna learn more about the dorms at the University of Toronto, I would highly recommend that you check out that video. I'll put the link in the description. So if you guys already watched that video, you guys will know that some of the dorms have gender neutral washrooms, meaning that the washroom at the dorm is used by all genders. This was a very cool experience and I'm not gonna lie, it was a little awkward at first, but as time passes and once you get to meet some of the students in your dorm, it won't be as awkward and you'll get used to it. It was definitely my first time sharing washrooms with a different gender, but overall it was a cool experience and as I said, it gets better over time. So at least for my dorm, there were two of these washrooms on each floor these washrooms have four to five toilets and shower stalls, and the overall quality of the washrooms are pretty decent. Now, this is the part that you guys have been waiting for. I'll tell you guys how it's actually like to share washrooms with many people. Once you get to the dorm, you'll be surprised on how often people forget to flush. I know this may sound crazy, but trust me, if you're gonna stay at the dorm, there's a good chance that you'll open a stall and it won't be flushed. This was not just for my floor, but every other floor as well. I also heard this story from different college dorms as well, so I think this flushing problem is inevitable. So if you guys can, make a group chat when you first get to the dorm and make some general rules. These rules can be as simple as flushing the toilets, no pooping on the shower stalls. Seriously, I heard this happening on a different floor, so don't be surprised if this happens on your dorm. I actually remember this story because my floor, Don, told this story to our floor and warned us not to do it. So some weird stuff can happen at the dorm, but as I said, as time passes, you'll get used to it as well. And thinking back, I'll be honest with you guys, it wasn't as bad as you think it is. And as far as I know, I think the janitors clean the washrooms every morning. So if everyone tries hard, this dorm life experience can be very clean and healthy. So this whole thing was the truth about the washrooms at the dorm. Now I'll talk about the noise problem at the dorm. Since everyone has different sleeping slash study schedule, noise can be a big problem. Also to mention, the walls are very thin at the door to the point where you can hear someone sneezing or on call with someone. For me, it was good because I always spoke Korean with my parents when I was on call with them. But privacy can be a big problem if you only speak English because your neighbors will be able to hear your conversations. So if you have to have a private call with someone, I would suggest that you step out of your room and go somewhere where you know that people won't be able to hear you. Continuing on with the thin wall problem, people's morning clock can be really annoying too, especially if they let it ring for a long period of time. You know, sometimes you'll want to sleep in because you worked on a project last night until 3 o'clock in the morning. But when you hear your neighbor's alarm clock go off at 9 a.m. in the morning, that can be really annoying and it can be stressful. Noise can not only affect your sleeping, but your studying as well. For me, I like to study at home, but if you're stuck with a loud neighbor, it's gonna be really annoying to study. So many students choose to go to the library to study, but if you guys are like me and hates going outside, bringing small earplugs can liberate you from this whole noise problem. With a good earplug, you can sleep at night peacefully, and you can also study at home whenever you want without having to worry about noise. So this is a reminder to bring earplugs if you're going to stay at a dorm. Trust me, it's gonna help you a lot. And if your dorm has like a study room, please take advantage of these because these rooms are so quiet. So hopefully I covered all the aspects of noise problems, but now I'll talk about the general atmosphere at the dorm. So this atmosphere at the dorm can change depending on whether or not if you're a roommate. I heard mixed opinions on this, but I'll definitely recommend you to get a single room if you want a little bit more privacy. When you guys attend orientations, you guys will all hear this story where people meet their soulmates through this roommate system. But I want to tell you guys that there are so many other ways where you can meet your soulmates without having to have a roommate. Think about how you met your best friends right now. We all met our best friends because we were able to talk to that person and we both like something from each other. And after that, we were able to build a friendship with our best friend. And that's how best friend is created. You didn't randomly meet your best friend on the street. So think about the chances of you meeting your best friend through this roommate system before you make any decisions. 
So now let's talk about the general atmosphere at the dorm. This kind of depends on your dorm, but generally speaking, you'll be introduced to other students who are staying at the dorm during your orientation week. It's a good idea to get to know the people at your dorm because they'll most likely be the people who you will interact the most with. You'll see them in washrooms, hallways, and study rooms. So try to get to know them during your orientation week. Now, throughout the year, your floor don slash manager will host events where you and your dormitory friends can have fun. These events include pumpkin carving, gingerbread house making, and bubble tea events. I would also like to mention there'll be events that'll be hosted for your entire college as well. I know for a new college, there are events where people can go to Niagara Falls for very, very cheap price. So make sure to look into these college-wide events as well. As you can tell, the general atmosphere seems fun, but the truth is you'll probably not care about it too much because you'll be so busy with your schoolwork. So if you can attend these events, please do so. But if you're too busy, good luck with your weekly assignments and daily homework. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. As I mentioned in the start of the video, I will make the study tip video in the future. So stay tuned for that as well. And if you guys have any further questions, suggestions, or any funny things that you guys want to say to me, please let me know in the comments. And if you guys like this kind of content, please let me know in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. And until next time, bye-bye.